Many of us like to begin each rehearsal with a slow, sensitive piece to simply say hello to the students and to get to know each other in an emotional context. This semester, the piece for us is Rosa Medri by Ray Fawn Williams. The second flute part in measure six can usually be more pronounced than one would normally hear it. One of the reasons for this is because the flute is playing notes that are below F on top of the staff, and as a result, they really need to play with as much brilliance and vibrato as possible to keep the pitch up on those notes and also to add some color to the sound down below. Many people think that the melody in this piece takes place in the clarinet, but the clarinet part is actually counterpoint to the real melody that takes place in the whole notes and half notes found in the brass at measure 9. Long notes in this melody often lead players to take breaths in the middle of the phrase, but I would suggest that you try to elide the phrases to create longer range musical goals. For example, try to take the dotted whole note in measure 10 and make sure that it's got just a little bit of a secret or slight crescendo going to the half note at the end of the measure to create a four bar phrase instead of a two bar phrase. Tuba and low reed parts have tenuto markings over the quarter notes. I would encourage those players to play those notes on one breath, not breathing every note, but trying to almost think of that being a horizontal line, very much like the horn melody that takes place at the same time.
our band room, we like to speak of open releases and closed releases. Closed release would be like D-A-T or dot with a T at the back part of the note. And an open release would be a D-A-H or a da with an H at the back part of the note, which will help add some resonance and sonority to the sound and release it to silence in a way that's much more proper and fitting. Generally, I always like to make the pickup notes the most noble notes of the phrase in order to really make a phrase sparkle. Sometimes our warm-up is the best part of the day, so I would encourage you to do the same, and Rosa Medri is a wonderful piece to do this with. 